Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons, that's a monkey with a clown face. This is Saltim, this is Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. I feel like this boss is maybe kind of fun, it's like Phantom Ganon. Just look for which mirror he's in and break the mirror and he comes out of the mirror and we fight him. And he just sort of does this. Like, he, he's not stunned and helpless, but he does have Mercy Invincibility that kicks in much too quickly, but whatever. Also, one of his attacks, I believe, is he gets onto the mirror and then tries to do you a suck, and I do not want a suck from Monkey. <laughs> Spreaking as a throat, that's just my thing at the moment, apparently. But yes. Holy fuck, this mirror doing a suck. And then he falls off the mirror and you can spank him with your egg. This is just the most fun boss, apparently. Like, some people think this is the hardest boss? Like, the hardest boss in the hardest level? And like, no, it's... It, we're fun. We're having a good time. Which... Okay. In the last episode, I was bitching about how contrarian I am and how I don't like that I'm contrarian. And... I saw on Tumblr. And it, they did cite their sources, so don't worry. It's not Tumblr being Tumblr. But, uh, there was, like, a list of the top ten most uplifting songs in music industry history or something like that. Wow. So much for the hardest boss in the game, just saying. But, um, yeah, that was clearly worth splitting this up into a separate episode for. But, yeah, there was a list of the top ten most uplifting songs, and I, it was something like, I know nine of them and hate seven of them, or something like that, some ridiculous ratio. Like, I think the only one on there that I properly liked was Walking on Sunshine by Katrina and the Waves, and that's it. So, the top ten most uplifting songs in the world, and I hate most of them. And I hate myself for hating them. D? WHAT?! WHY?! What the bu- Why was that- D Did you see the last episode? Why is that- mm. That was an honest reaction. I- I- But I- d uh, uh. What just happened? Also, there's this! We have the orange flavor. It looks so juicy. And now we have lit some various colours. That was a good sentence, we have lit some various colours. Anyway, Alani and your fabulous voice. Billy, I, I can't believe you defeated Saltim. Well done. I hear that you're looking for information about the giant egg. I shall tell you all that I know. Long ago, my father told me a story about a war that broke out involving the giant egg. It probably started because someone wanted the power of the giant egg for themselves. After the war was over, the elders sealed the giant egg in a castle in the sky to prevent any more wars. The elders performed the sealing ritual at the Sand Ruin to the east of here. And that, unfortunately, is all I know of the subject. I'm sure that you shall find more pieces to this puzzle at the Sand Ruin. Okay, that's our next objective then. So, second level in a row that shares its name with a level from the Sonic series. Sand Ruin, that's our next destination. Yeah, you thought this was just a decorative piece in the middle of the world map? Probably not, it was quite obviously a level, but we're not done in Circus Park yet. The clock stands still, I was just singing my praises of its design. And if I remember rightly, this mission is Reki's time to shine, because we need to energize it with the power of electricity. So it's like a reverse peanut park from Mario Sunshine. Billy, it looks, it looks like, like the crows have done their dirty work here as well. The crows have, have stopped the giant clock of Circus Park. It had been running non-stop for over a hundred years. They probably drained the power from the four batteries surrounding the clock tower. If you could find something to recharge the power of the batteries, the clock should start moving again. This is an outrage. Okay, yes, this, this requires egg. I'm going to do a different suit this time, just for the sake of difference. My diamond. <laughs> well, why not? Oh, no, it... Okay, it, it stops automatically when you get to the right one. Huh. Okay, well, we don't need this egg anymore, because here's Reki. Oh, it just it doesn't even require Billy. It just needs egg. Duly noted. Reki, get back here. You've not even been born yet and get back here. I, I, I have vague memories of uh, you having to do a specific suit. But they were locked until this experience just now. But I do like this gimmick. Anyway, yeah, Circus Park. I love the aesthetic. I love everything. I love the music. I love everything, but I hate myself. What a tragedy, what a travesty. Yeah, if, if I had to pick a world to live in, like, out of the Billy Hatcher levels, I'm inclined to say... Also, the, the pink ones do a full 360. And again, time it well, otherwise you will suffer. And... Poop. 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 Poop the boops. Poop. Scoopity poop. Poop diddy scoop. Scoopity whoop. Well, that was 
probably in inductive of a good grade, perhaps maybe, my friend? Also, this feels like the sort of level that would have the, uh, you know, in a recent episode I was fumbling around Blizzard Castle looking for a secret I could get to with a jetpack. I feel like this mission, I saw that chick coin, I didn't know how to get to it, but there's this one though, and I died. Yay! I, I feel like, really, you're gonna put me back at the start, why? This is the sort of mission that would have the, uh, the other one of the two things that I was looking for there, so... I don't know, we might run into it, we might not, because I don't remember the secrets of this game. Oh, that was generous. Ooh, we can we can get a, a good scoreful again here as well. Or maybe not. Sad. Okay. Just give me a fantastic score time. I want to have good fun score, yes please. House. And other noises. This slide may be one of the reasons why people aren't so fond of Circus Park. Like, I don't think they hate it. I think there's no one who, like antagonizes this level? Really? Just barely not enough to hatch it this time. That's... Flangle. Give me coin! Oh! 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 <laughs> hey, I got the coin this time, and that's all that matters, even though we have to start from the beginning and everything is sad. But whatever! We, we got... Did we get to keep? We got to keep. I am... Happy with that? Yes, I mean, we accidentally got an S for Saltine, so you know what? I, I really shouldn't complain. The game has already given me too much to fumble. Come on, I've already done this multiple times. This is such a, a good spot for grinding good score times with the fruit and the, the combos and the... Can I... See, sometimes when I come up here, because yes, this has taken multiple attempts so far, Sometimes it gives me enough fruit to get to hatch stage, and sometimes it doesn't. Why is this? Game developers explain. Explain. Ah! Not very annoying. Overy annoying. Oh, hey, we got the other coin as well. Cool. <laughs> oh, no! But at least I got to keep the thing! <laughs> Everything is sad. <sighs> Incidentally, uh, second attempt, after all the other attempts. <laughs> yes, you do need to be carrying an egg when you go down that slope, otherwise Billy's simply not maneuverable enough to jump over the, uh, the fire jets. So, learn Spanish or vanish, basically. And by that I mean, take an egg with you, or else you will suffer. Is that, was that seriously it? That was, that's the whole mission? There are four batteries around here! You must recharge all the batteries with electricity! Wow, really? I never would have guessed. <laughs> That was passive-aggressive B from Night in the Woods, apparently. Oh yes, it goes dleng. I am the the king. I am the man queen of onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. It is my kingdom. Quand je rêve, je suis en roi. Incidentally, right. Genuine question: Does anyone out there know how I can legitimately buy the karaoke albums from any Eurovision prior to 2016, because I, I have 2016, 17, 18, and 19, but like, Amazon has a page for 2015 and 2011, and for 2015 it says not available. Then why do you have a page for it? What even? And it's a digital download, it's not like you can be out of stock, you daft punks. Anyway, we've, we've re-patched up the clock, so... I feel like this probably won't be enough for, for a full episode, bearing in mind all the faff that just happened, but hey, it's like 3-2 from Clonoa Lord of Vendemile. Also, that clock is not running at a rate of one second per second, and it should be ashamed of itself. But here we are nonetheless. Oh, are we going to need to go on a magical journey of overtime and space? Ooh. Well, anyway. Did I just see a coin? Did I dream it? I may have droned it. Well, anyway. I've literally just forgotten what I was saying. Oh, yeah. Because I... Like, I've been listening to the various Eurovision karaoke, specifically the karaoke albums only, on my journey to and from work every day, and 
Like, I I've got my complete collection so far of the various songs that I've used in Patreon videos, as well as the full albums of, um, of various other years. But, like... Worth it! Worth it! Completely worth it! I'll take that! Never mind! Bye-bye! <laughs> Oh, he actually spawned us up here. That makes a nice change. Oh, we can maybe hatch this and see if we can get the last Steel-type friend, because there is a second Steel-type friend that we've not met yet. But yes. And, like, yeah, okay. I have a lot of music, but still, when you're listening to it every single day, on, on like, the same journey back and forth from work, you start to skip over songs fairly frequently, and, like, I just want to have more so that the, the skips happen less frequently, and there's more variety, you know? And I want to have those other years, and I specifically only want the karaoke versions, because I'm a nuisance like that. And you, you see my dilemma? I, I, I just want to have a fantastic time, and Amazon's making that difficult because Amazon is full of fuck- Hey, hey! It's the final Steel-type friend. It is Boscus, the hot-headed fighter. All for the egg Pokedex clipping through my body, because why not? Now, there was a Reki egg around here somewhere as well. We're again, we're going to need an egg. Go on. So yeah, that's how Boscus works. Gets large and charges round. I'm surprised that wasn't the description when we hatched it, but hey diddly ho. Now, where is the path? We're chasing our own bull around a circle. Oh, and it explodes into fireworks too, which is nice. Did I just do a full lap like a fool? A fool lap, if you will. Wall fools. Well, we got the coin, so... I'm sort of pulling back on the control stick to try and slow down, but it didn't work! Uh. No! This, this is mean. We need to... Ah! Uh, oh! Oh, no! Okay, the trick is never try to slow down. Also, oh there's probably a chick coin over there, but I don't want to... I don't want to risk it. Like, this is the one time I will say I don't want to risk it, because uh, I don't want to have to do that slide again. The trick is don't try to slow down, because that will just throw off your aim. So, I, I was saying this probably isn't enough for an episode. It probably still isn't, but... I'm still going to call it anyway, because I'm, I'm just that flavour of nebulous quengle. So anyway, bad grade? The worst grade, yeah! But we did it, and that's all that counts. So, in the next episode, we have two more sponges of Circus Park to do, and then we can move on with the story. Or perhaps not, I don't know, we've got other missions to do with friends as well. But for now, I have been, and will continue to be, tessellating hexagons, and let's head over to the egg carrier, just to see what our dex is looking like. Honestly, we're actually not missing that many at this point. We're, we're a, a good chumble of the way through, and I know what most of these eggs are as well, which is nice and fun, and look at all the friends we have. We have one more friend to find. That's the no noise. The no noise is Twinkle. Okay, then. Well, anyway, I have already outroed, so yeah, see you in the next episode. We, we're still missing one of the... Hmm. We didn't even get them in order. That's weird. Anyway, see you in the next one. Good boo! Oh, hey! The, the secret title screen thing happened! Hey, yeah, I can show this off at the end of this episode now. So, yeah. I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons, and I told you that this was a thing that happened. I have no idea what causes it. Maybe it's just a random chance event, but it's a thing that happens. It is real, I'm not crazy. <sighs> see you in the next one.